Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Single best idea. And what a day it was. We could have had about six tapes here, turned it into a 20-minute extravaganza. The goal of single best idea is not to give you a 20-minute extravaganza. There's a lot of podcasts out there doing that. Look to the big take with David Gura is one example of really getting it done with a highly produced 20-minute effort. This is a glimpse into conversations of the moment, and today's hugely eclectic and hugely surprising. We'll get to Betsy Stevenson of Michigan, of Ann Arbor, in a moment on this this crazy child care mess we're in in America. Uh, but first, Gina Martin-Adams always surprises. And she, she hates me because she knows I'm going to throw an audible. So I threw Gina Martin-Adams of Bloomberg Intelligence Equity an audible. I said, okay, no one's in love with China. Does that mean their equities are of value? Here's Gina Martin-Adams. Chinese equities are very consistently a buy at 11 times earnings. We saw that last year. Uh, Chinese equities got down to 11 times earnings. It created a major buying opportunity for Chinese equities. We bounced off of those lows. Uh, and Did now we're starting to see that? whether no. or not the fundamentals can actually put up um, to allow for valuations to continue to sp- expand in China. It is a tough case right now for China for a lot of reasons. Yeah. Uh, mostly because we're not seeing the economic progress that many people had hoped to see in China, and earnings growth trends are not as positive. That said, we are coming off of a major multiple low, um, and if we can see that incremental improvement in confidence come out of China, you can see China work. Longer term, though, Tom, I have to admit that China's relative performance by comparison to the broader EM or even the broader global equity markets is a pretty massive disappointment over longer term yeah. time trends. So I tend to think of it as a tactical opportunity until we see some really major structural reforms which right. open that market to the global investment community on a more consistent uh, basis. And also we see some more persistent fundamental improvement. That is an example of the excellence of Bloomberg Intelligence. I threw that looking for a cursory short answer and instead a clinic from Gina Martin Adams laying out China equity potential. I thought that was just absolutely uh, brilliant. A lot of other discussions today. Amory Horton painting a picture of the democratic effort in uh, Chicago. Uh, any number, Anton Posner I thought was great on the logistics of supply chain, of the Red Sea, of the Panama Canal as well. And then finally, We had Betsy Stevenson of Michigan, and I want to make clear who she is. A lot of people look at her as a policy wonk, and she's someone that comes on and talks about this, that, and the other. There is no one, and I mean no one in America, who has studied the economics and the policy realities of divorce and together and separately children and child care in America. She's an absolute tour de force. I'll be blunt. Her CV is heartbreaking about the effect of divorce and child care and lack of child education in America. It doesn't matter what your politics are. It's the work she's done, the body of work she's put together. It's absolutely unique in America. Betsy Stevenson and the people that are not so much against child care, but they're looking to the past. I think what they want is a return to what feels like a traditional family where, you know, people just don't have to work that much and they get, you know, to stay at home and take care of their kids and the dad comes home at five o'clock at night and the, uh, the wife has made dinner. I think the thing to realize is they seem to, they argue that they want that, but they don't actually want the living standards of the you know 1950s they don't because you could get that if you lived off 1950s median income you know you you could have a 1950s lifestyle most people want a 2024 lifestyle at the same time they want to feel the security of you know some idealized notion of family life i love the idea of children having their parents around them having other family members supporting them. But I also know that children need um, professional educators. And I think that we learned that during COVID. 
You know, we tried homeschooling our kids. Right. I'm a professor and I was <clears throat> terrible at homeschooling my own second grader and fifth grader. They were frustrated. They I, wanted I, their peers. They didn't want their mommy correcting their math. They wanted a math right. teacher correcting their math. And, right. I, you know, the same thing is true when we're looking at, at smaller kids. They benefit from people who specialize right. in early childhood That's education. A, Betsy Stevenson there, just absolutely uh, outstanding. I, can you see? I can't imagine. She, she, she probably put the five-year-old on a curve. You know, probably got a quality C for all that we know. I can't say enough about her work. The body of it is just simply uh, courageous. We are off to Jackson Hole. Uh, you know, we'll travel out there uh, with Bramo. It's going to be good. Powell's speech will be good, but also the conversations we're going to have forward into the end of 2024. Dare we look out to 2025 with great conversation on Friday. Look for that. East Coast time, seven, uh, excuse me, 9 to 10, 9 to 11. I'll get it right. 9 to 11. We'll be up a little earlier than that in Mountain Standard Time. On Apple Podcasts, this is Single Best Idea. <laughs>